Hello again and welcome back to Elden Ring. I am Mental Fox and I thank you for joining me again. Wow, we're running around with 66,000 runes. Eh, you're probably laughing. 66,000 runes, that's nothing. Well, to me, it's something. Even though I need, what, nearly twice that to level up now. Eh, it just seems like a lot of runes to me. And there's a part of me that cons is considering just going ahead and popping some of the runes I've got to go ahead and level up right now, but nah, there's all kinds of things around here for us to kill and reap the runes from. So let's just keep pressing forward. Now, we're here in Langdell, and this place is blowing my mind with how big it is. We um, started exploring way over in the other end of Langdell, way down there somewhere, and uh, we've ended up here. And there's still a bunch of places back in that direction that we haven't explored yet, so we'll try to make our way back there so we don't miss anything. And, uh, let's see, we're using this great stars weapon right now, and, uh, you know, I've been getting some... Well, yeah, you guys leave great comments. I really enjoy reading your comments. And, uh, you know, when I started this character, my plan was to be a strength character, right? And um, you can see I've got, you know, 50 in invested into strength here. Vigor, very important to me since, uh, you know, I'm not the best at this game. Uh, I get hit a lot. So uh, a lot of health is important to me, which is why I have so much in Vigor. But really, strength is what I've been focusing on. And then endurance next, because, you know, with strength, I'm going to want to be wielding uh, heavier weapons. want to be carrying more equipment and endurance helps with that. Uh, also, endurance allows me to wear heavier armor, which goes hand in hand with vigor so that I could tank enemies and go ahead and just let them beat the crap out of me while I flounder around trying to figure out how to beat them. So that is the path I've taken here from the start. And at some point, I don't I don't remember how this happened. Uh, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing necessarily, but at some point, I started really relying on this Bloodhound Fang weapon, which is a freaking cool weapon. I do really like it, but this is a good weapon for like a quality build. I think that's what Strength and Dex is. It's called quality, I think. I hope I'm right about that. But, you know, it scales so great with Dex, but, you know, my character doesn't really have all that great of Dex, so I'm not even using this weapon to its maximum ability. Uh, I really wish that I had... <laughs> uh, I just read a comment that talked about maybe saving that special somber stone to get this to plus 10 for something else maybe, but unfortunately I did this before I saw the comment. This is really not the best weapon for my character, even though it's great. It's great, it's fun to use, and um, it certainly does the trick, but I really, really feel like I should be using something that is you know, really based on strength since that's my strength. We will spend some time in the maybe the next episode doing that. I think this is episode 199 I'm doing right now. And I was thinking, you know, nice round number 200. Uh, maybe we'll spend some time, you know, trying to find a weapon to use. Maybe trying to upgrade it as much as we can. Is this what is this here? But we'll do that in the next episode. I guess these are just some some just some shrubbery here or something. But it looked odd from a distance. Um. And it's dark out here. I've talked so much that now it's nighttime. I don't want it to be nighttime, man. I want it to be daytime so I can see what the heck I'm doing. I'm actually going to go back and rest until morning. I don't normally do that, but since I'm right here, and just since I started, you know, this episode just now, um, I, uh, I, you know, saw the difference between day and night, and I want to run around in the daytime, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I really don't know which route I should take. Should I keep going that way where those horn blowers are? Should we go down here? Oh, uh, there's a path down here, and then there's another path over here down behind these guys. There's another path down there. So I just don't know. Actually, this... Nope. Well, let's, let's see if this is a dead end. Let's see. It might be over here. Do I even want to mess with these guys? I mean, you don't get a bunch of runes, and they don't really seem to care that I'm here. So I don't know, maybe we'll just leave them be. 
we got a path that runs... Oh, gosh, this goes even further, doesn't it? <laughs> Into that structure over there, uh, which I think is the Colosseum. Okay, so we're not going to go that way yet. Um, let's just go back here. Closer to the site, and we'll go down this way and see what's down here. Let's just do this. Oh, I, well, I actually did kind of run down here. How far did I go? Let's see. Okay, we got some more musician dudes here. We got another one over here. I, I have a feeling these guys, they're going to see me. This is the guy that we knocked off the edge last time, isn't it? And we kill him with one backstab. And his, his buddies don't even care. Yeah, they don't even care. They're like, that's, that's your problem. Oh, remember there was a lever here that we pulled in the last episode. We made a big racket. But I have no idea what it did. No clue. So we're going to run around here and maybe I could figure out what it did. So I believe down there is where we fought. Well, there's an item down there. Oh, there's several items down there. Yeah, that's right. I haven't gone up those stairs yet. But anyway, I think that's where we fought that. Um, is it was it an Erd tree spirit? I don't know, man. Oh, OK, well, this is kind of dead endy. All right. Well, uh, I mean, I could probably survive that fall, but we'll make our way down there soon enough, I'm sure. OK, well, that's we will consider this area explored. I'm going to guess the important thing down here was this lever. Oh, I could pull it again. <laughs> In the last episode, I couldn't pull it again, could I? Boy, I, uh, mm. I really, I really wish I knew what it did. I really do. Um, mm. I mean, it made a big old racket. Almost sounded like there was some. I mean, usually levers are for like elevators, and that's what it sounded like was happening. But if there's one around here, I didn't and don't see it. I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, no, let's pull it and listen and see if we can't pinpoint where the sound's coming from. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, nothing happened. So, <laughs> what the... Okay, I don't know if that's because I exited out of the game and came back in that it let me pull it again, but apparently that's a one-time lever. So, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll tell you what, man. You know, I was talking a, a short while ago. So, anyway, somebody... Uh, Alright, get your thoughts together, dude. Uh, so, I keep talking about, you know, like these bizarre convoluted quests, and I'm like, how is anybody supposed to keep track of this? Well, a couple of you guys have said that, you know, if you pay attention, <laughs> pretty much everything you need to know is told to you in the game. Which is awesome. Oh, he stopped my counter. Um, and then somebody told me that fighting Cowboy, you probably know who he is if you're a Souls fan. Yikes. Uh, that he actually does take notes during his gameplay so he can keep track of things. So that was actually kind of cool to, to, to learn. And then I shared that there was a time when I was playing Skyrim and I tried to take notes and uh, it was a lot of work. But anyway, to be honest with you, I, I wish that I had taken notes in this game from the start. I really do wish I had. Now... I feel like that ship has sailed. I really don't know if it's... You guys let me know. I, is it worth trying to start taking notes now at this point of the game? Some of you tell me that I still have half the game to go. Um, but yeah, let me let me know what you think. Is, is it worth is it worth starting to take notes now? I, I don't know. Just let me know what you think. But I do really do wish that I had started from the starting. Smithstone 6, that's pretty cool. So here's another place where I could jump down there. But I hesitate to do it. Why do I hesitate to do it? Because we still have, like, this whole other half of the area to explore over here. And I feel like once I jump down here, now I'm in this area. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back. And we're going to 
I don't want to say backtrack, but um, it's the best way to get back there. I guess I have to do a little bit of backtracking. There's a broken railing here. Can I drop down from here? No. <laughs> no, cannot drop down from here. That's just a safety hazard. Over here, I thought I saw a, like a little balcony that I was wondering if we could get to. And this isn't this isn't the place. The balcony is actually down below there. See, a couple of balconies, a couple of levels. Um, I tell you what. I tell you. I tell you what. Let's go all the way back here. Huh? Let's go all the way back here. And, um... We will... Is this the right way? Yeah, we'll go down this way. Call the elevator. And... We're going to go down. Maybe we'll... Well, I don't know. 69,000 69, runes. Maybe I don't want to fight a boss right now. All right. All right I'm probably driving you guys crazy with my indecision. Let's go ahead and pop a bunch of runes and level up. Because I'm pretty sure there's a boss down here at the bottom of this elevator. And I don't want to fight him with all these runes. Which, you know, like I said, to me is a lot of runes. To you, you're probably laughing. Um, I mean, we could pop this thing. Get 50,000 runes right here. Okay, we'll do that. And I need about, what, 3,000 more, I believe? Um, yeah, about that. So, let me, let me see something here. I've been told that if I... What is it if I do this... I could pop runes without having to leave this menu, but I'm not sure how that helps me. Let's, well, I don't know. Uh, let's see. These are... Oh, I can't see how much these are worth. Unless I go here. 10,000. Don't need that many. Need about... About 3,000. We'll pop one of these. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so that did keep me in here. Now I could go back here. I can see him at 122, 760, but I don't know how many I need to level up. Okay, we've got enough. Okay, let's just do this, man. Let's level up, and we'll gird our loins for what I believe is going to be a boss battle. Um, Let's see here. Well, I've got, you know, my Faith and Arcane up to where I think I want them. So let's start pumping more stuff into Strength. What is Mind for? I've never touched Mind. Okay, so that's a FP. All right. Maybe one day, I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's start pumping stuff back into strength. Because I, I am supposedly a strength build after all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, equip this good old helmet here. There's no sense in having the imp helmet on because it, it helps raise my faith. And I don't need extra faith right now. So we'll go ahead and put this back on. Uh, ooh, there was talk about me using a different shield. Uh, so, oh man, I wish I remembered what was said about it. Um, so, where are our shields? Shield here. Nothing is shield. Uh, so I always look at, like, I've always looked at, like, physical damage negation. I've always thought, well, 100 is 100, you know? Why do I need a bigger shield? Well, somebody told me in the comments that there is a reason for it, but I don't remember what it is now. What the difference is. Um... Let's see here. Maybe I don't do it for inventory. Maybe I do it for where I could compare them. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so like if I start using like a great shield, I think maybe it was this one that it was suggested that I use. Boy, look at the weight difference: four point five to thirteen point five. Um, I mean, it still has one hundred percent guarded damage negation. And you can see that all these are raised. Maybe guard boost is the thing I'm interested in, maybe? No. Oh. I have enough faith to wield this thing now. There's certainly plenty of strength. 
So if I put this on, will it over encumber me is my concern. Heavy load. So now I'm over encumbered, which isn't surprising. So is it better to have this shield and like take my helmet off? Um, I mean, I guess I could like unequip this thing, but I don't know. Let's see. If I remove this, I'm in medium load. Let's see here. Damage negation. What is, what can I put on that'll leave me in medium load, but give me the best damage negation? Let's see. Okay. All the way back down here to the silver tear mask. <laughs> this is it, man. Um, interesting. And then we get this guy here too. Look at look at my arcane raised with this silver tear mask. Arcane, I don't think is doing anything for me. The night helm doesn't offer me anything special. It certainly helps a little bit with poise. But if I put this on and then do this comparison thing. Yeah. Huh. I don't know, man. There's no sense in me. Is there? I wish it was something that like would raise my strength, maybe. You know, since that's kind of what I'm. Kind of what my build is. I'm just scrolling through these. Just to these. Oh, something did change my strength. So this thing g gives me a boost, a little bit to strength and intelligence. But it's really a. Big drop-off in damage negation, huh? Yeah. Just, uh... So that's the only one that gives me a strength boost, which is... Wow, that's the only one that gives me a strength boost. Well, this is the... This is the best damage negation one that I can put on that leaves me in medium. Look at this shield! And suddenly I want cookies. You know those like, oh, they're making me think of those like fudge. Is it a fudge cookie? Like this Keebler? Uh, what are they called? Fudge rounds. That's it. <laughs> That's what this looks like to be a fudge round. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Maybe it doesn't look like a fudge round at all. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe I just want cookies. Okay, let's see if I'm right. And that there is a boss down here. I hope there is, since I just... I guess it's not that big of a deal that I popped those runes. We've got so many of them, huh? Okay, so we go down here. And then... Somewhere there's some double doors that we go through. Look how bright and sunny it is out here. Hmm, I just had a thought that... Oh gosh, I, I have had all kinds of thoughts. Maybe I should, change, should have changed my physic. Maybe I should have taken off the flame off of this weapon. And instead uh, put on... Um, removed an ash so that I could use blood flame blade. I don't know. We don't know till we go in here and we really see what we're up against. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm thinking that maybe there is not a boss here now. Um, because my little arch thing didn't show up. So this is going to take me, oh gosh, to this whole other area over here. <laughs> God, I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We've got these, uh, are these demi humans. Is that what they're called down here? <laughs> I thought this was going to be a boss. Why am I turning around? Because... Because I'm trying to explore methodically. And if I go over here... I don't know. I'm, am I going to end up way over here and start going this way? I'm not ready for that. i got all this area down here still to explore. All right, man. Come on. Come on now. I know what I'm going to call this episode. I hope I remember. Okay, so we've walked down there, but we haven't gone up this... There's a staircase down here that we haven't gone up yet. But down here... Let's just do this, man. Let's go down here. There's like a little... Maybe like a... Kind of like a village place down here. Let's go down here. Let's see what's up. Let's do it. Come on now. Let's just pick something. Just pick something. Go with it. That is a slow elevator. Kind of dramatic. You know? 
Uh, we're gonna do the thing where we look under the elevator to see if there's anything under there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, there is a floor down there. Which uh, kind of piques my interest a little bit, but um, I think that's just death. Yeah. But yeah, normally like those elevator shafts, it's just a black hole. I'm gonna go and call this back down here just, you know, just in case I need to retreat. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, okay, so there is somebody way over there. Somebody or something. A couple of dudes over there. I can't tell from here what they are. Well, maybe a little dude down there. Item. Some dead bodies. Hopefully they stay dead. Would you look at this place? Would you look at this? I don't know, man. I mean, you guys probably play a lot more games than I do, and maybe this is like a real biased question considering the game that we're all watching me play right here, but do you think Elden Ring is game of the year for this year? I mean, this is really the only game I've played this whole year, isn't it? When did I start playing this? <laughs> I played like one game this year. Uh, but I just, I don't know. It's just spectacular, this game. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know how it can't be game of the year. But, you know, like I said, I, this is really the only game I've played. I'm just basing my thoughts on not just my own playthrough, but on what other people have said and just how much hype this game seems to have. Oh, hey, buddy, what's up? Okay. So what did I decide? What did I finally decide this stuff was? It's not spray foam, obviously. It's, um, we just read something recently that kind of told me what it probably is. Damn it, I don't remember now. Okay, so these are the stairs we just came from. Oh, hey! Oh, these are the grabbers, aren't they? Oh, oh that works, surprisingly. It's terribly timed. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, man, still can't one-shot him. Damn. Let's grab this item here. Uh, okay, we got him coming up out of the ground. Mm, so close to a one-shot. That was a charged, two-handed, strong attack. What was the item I picked up? I don't even remember. Look at this. So close to just... Finishing them off. One swing. What is going on down here? What has happened in the capital? Gravel stone. There's a lot of gravel stone around here. Gravel stone, I think, has something to do with dragons. Oh, what, what the heck? Where are, they, where are these guys coming from? There's really no sense in doing a charged attack on these guys because it still takes two hits to kill them, so I could just do a regular non-charged attack. Non-strong, non-charged. So there's no sense in taking the time to charge it up, in my opinion. We've got a walkway that goes all the way down there. My goodness gracious. Who, who, who or what are these guys? Let's get a better look at them. What are these dudes? <laughs> Skeleton dudes with these pole arms? Let's check it out. Let's see what we can do against these guys. See how tough they are. Okay, that's a fair amount of damage. Okay, able to backstab them. Oh. Oh no, they're coming back. 
Coming back. Oh, this guy does not give a crap about me. I'm a little insulted. Okay, so these are more of these dudes. I may never understand those guys. So, so many of you try, have tried to explain to me the deal with the dudes that come back. Like, I need a sacred weapon or something, but when I tried to use a sacred weapon against them, I had to, like, activate a skill in order to activate the sacred part. Oh! Where did he come from? Was he, like, just camouflaged there? I just didn't see him? Uh, anyway. Um... I think somebody at one point, or maybe more than one point, told me about a weapon that I could use to dispel those guys once and for all. You know, only have to kill them once, but I don't remember what it was. Let's see what this item is here. Make sure there's nobody around the corner waiting to poke me with something. Here we've got Stone Sword Key. This is a nice little piece of ambient music playing here. I really like it. There's just like a little bit of tension in it, you know, but also a little bit... I don't, I don't know if sadness is the right word, but kind of sadness. Like, you know, something horrible has happened here, and it's it's a shame. It's, it's a sad story kind of thing, you know? That's, that's what I'm hearing in this music is tension in that there's something terrible here, but also... A sadness at what it was or is. Once upon a time, I guess maybe this was a thriving city. And now, just death lives here. Death lives here? Did I just say that? You know what I mean. Oh, I kind of like this place. There's not a lot going on, but oh, I'm just finding it interesting. Running through here, checking this stuff out. Just let me look at where we are on the map. Oh, we're right underneath of the Avenue Balcony site. So it's up there probably on that walkway you could just see at the very top of the screen there. Oh! Nice try, dude. Oh, something big. So oh, he got down. God, I <laughs> just... I hate it when I'm that close to killing somebody with one swing. <laughs> Just hate it. Oh, wait a minute now. What's this? Okay, I'm looking at my buffs and debuffs up, up in the upper left-hand corner, and I have a sword with an arrow pointing down. That's a debuff. What's up with that? What is up with that? Let me take this off. Maybe this does something that I'm unaware of. It does. So that... Okay, hold on. Let's go take care of this guy real quick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, they all turned around and ran back. So this helmet that I put on actually has a debuff. Right? You see that? What's the debuff? Yes, greatly increases arcane to the detriment of physical attack power. Well, there you go. Let's just slap this thing on. This is the most ridiculous helmet. How, how, how does my head fit in there? I mean, explain that to me. My head can't fit in there. I got a big fat head. My hair wouldn't even fit in there. <laughs> They're just like, I'll stand there like, uh, are you coming or not? <laughs> That's a lot of dudes. Ooh. Um, oh, let's see. How do we do this? How do I do a flame breath? Like this? Okay, let's let's try it. Let's have a little fun here. Oh, they all ran away. 
they got smart and <laughs> ran away. Because that's the smart thing to do. Just stand there on the ledge and hurl stuff at me. Man! I'm going to use my flame breath on him. My rotten breath, I mean. I don't know. Should I use flame breath instead? Okay, come here, dudes. Come here. <laughs> I don't know what the range is with this thing. I mean, I'm probably not that far, right? Let's see here. Okay. Well, that... Huh. Really couldn't see what happened. Did a fair amount of... Oh boy, that used a lot of FP, though. Look at that. It used about half of my FP. This is not sustainable. Alright, you guys are annoying the crap out of me. Yeah, I didn't think I would hit him. Ah, jeez. Alright, you know what? These guys aren't even worth the time. Or the effort. No. He missed. That guy got me, though. Oh, these guys are getting me. You know what? That, that lightning kind of hurts a little bit. Okay, there we go. It was a little messy, but... Clarifying boluses. Clarifying boluses, what do they do? They are for, ooh, the alleviation of madness buildup. That's disturbing. Are we going to start seeing that in here? So this is just a dumb room with a bunch of dumb guys in it. Oh, man, maybe there's another way. I mean, there's another path over here. Not here. Let me just look real quick. Oh, there's a, ooh, there's a door here with a chest behind it. Oh, okay. I am shocked. I tell you, shocked that that worked. Stone sword key. Okay, well, you know, not the most exciting thing in the world. I mean, stone sword keys are great and all, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, come on. Is stone sword key a tool or a key item? What do you think? It's starting to look like a key item. I don't know, maybe it's neither. There we go. I've got nine of these freaking things, man. All right, so that was just a little detour there. Not, uh, not a whole lot to see, unless I missed something. If I did, please let me know. Okay, so we got a path going down this way, and I guess for some reason I felt like there was more in this direction, but there's not, huh? We're just looking back at this walkway here. If I look to my right, I can't quite see it. I thought that maybe we could look up and see that Avenue balcony site. All right, let's go this way. Go down here to the right. There's a dude there. Praising the sun or something. I'm not sure. Praising the herd tree, probably. Okay. So this is the path I believe we saw when I was exploring over here just a moment ago. This. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay. Well, this, that means that is not the, or is it? <laughs> yeah, it is, okay. All right. Big stone dragon there. I don't think he's ever gonna come alive. Famous last words. I equipped this cool shield. I haven't even used it yet. I mean, I could drop down there, but if I drop down there, I won't. Well, then I'm down there. <laughs> if I drop down there, then I'm down there. Yeah. Whoa. 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 We've got ourselves a good old. Are these also rated tree spirits? Oh, crap. Ouch. Whoops. Don't know what that was. Did something with my shield. Oh, look at... Oh, I gotta take the skill off of the shield. Because while I've got the skill on the shield, I can't use the skill on my weapon. These guys are like... 
rambunctious child. Okay, how do I get him in the head? Yes! Found the sweet spot. Hey, chopping down trees. I don't think we're doing a fair amount of damage to him. Oh man, I do not want him to get me in his mouth. Oh, I don't want that to happen either. Is that... Is that fire? Or just madness? I think it was fire, right? Kind of weird, though. A tree breathing fire? Oh, jeez. We survived it. I was really worried I was going to end up in his mouth. Okay, there we go. Almost 12,000 runes and a golden seed. Interesting. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, we're building up our golden seed collection here again. I thought I saw an item. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's go check it out. So he wasn't quite a boss. Golden arrows, 15 of them. So yeah, I like how these... These enemies who were bosses earlier in the game are just like regular dudes now. Smithing stone 6. That's kind of nice, huh? Dig that. So was that an ulcerated tree spirit? I hope I'm right. Doggone it. What? Hmm. What? I read... I just read something about what that might have been. What did we pick up recently? We picked something up. I don't know. I'll never find it. I don't remember what it was either. But we read something that talked about, you know, what could have been, what that stuff is. Don't go ahead. I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, that's another thing, though. I mean, honestly, if I did take notes, it's not like I'm going to remember everything I write down. But, you know, so, I mean, what, what do I do? Do I, like, stop in the middle of my play and check my notes? What's over there? I guess I do, don't I? Okay, we've got an item. Oh, that's an enemy. He's moving. So behind that enemy is an item. But I don't think I could get up there from here. Can I ride Torrent out here? No, I can't. Oh, here's a little path up here. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. I guess that's a good thing. We've got enough places to go. Without having to throw more paths into the mix. This structure here. <laughs> I'm s I keep seeing that spray foam stuff. I'm just so. I mean, even if I did make a note of it, how would I find it? I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, here. I hear a dung beetle. There's an enemy sitting there. It's dark in here, huh? Item there. Is that him breathing that I'm hearing? Let's see if we can see him. Very dark, I see, but... Boy, he... There's something... <laughs> this is something about the way he's breathing. It looks kind of... this. That looks like a tired dude, right? That dude is beat tired. And I'm going to go kill him. And I... <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, he tried something. Oh, he's not dead yet. There we go. Let's pillage his corpse. Get his gauntlets. Yeah, I, I actually kind of felt bad. Killing that guy. He looked like he was having a bad, a bad life. Into the cracked pot. Look at all this. This armor in here. Somebody's breathing. Now, before I assumed it was the dude sitting on the ground, but there's some somebody else in here somewhere. I hear breathing. I thought I did. Am I wrong? Do you hear that? It's very faint. Yeah, there's something going on in here. What am 
I hearing? Something beneath us? Oh. Oh, it's one of those hand things. Oh man, almost killed him with one shot. Noise. 158 runes. Come on now. Don't be wasting my time with that. We've got an up and we've got a down. Let's check out the up first, I guess. I don't know. What am I looking at? A sight. There's a sight over there. Okay. Oh, you got a scary looking dude right here. Oh, what are these guys called? He's got two up. Oh, this is a omen killer. Is that right? Oh my. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Put a little bit of bleed on me here. No. Okay, good. We staggered. I'm still standing in this fire. Okay, we got him. 1808. Omen Smirk Mask. Let's check this out real quick. These shadows going by here. Yeah, I'm hearing a dung beetle around here somewhere, probably down beneath us there. Omen Smirk Mask, let's try it on. Mask with long, hideously twisted horns worn by the Omen Killers. I got his name right. Increases strength. Can you freaking believe this? <laughs> what was I literally just looking for earlier? A helmet that increases strength. I didn't have one. The only one I had also increased faith or arcane or something. Or maybe, in no, it was intelligence. <laughs> and then what do I find? A strength boosting headpiece. <laughs> it's insane! Bears the smirking face of an elder twisted in wicked delight. This visage is carved in the image of the evil spirits that haunt the omen in their nightmares. So where does this thing fit in with damage negation? Let's see. Pretty, <laughs> not <laughs> it's way up here. So not great with damage negation. And it boosts my strength by two, which, I mean, really, is it really going to make that much of a difference? Uh, let's see here. Where Can I get to attack power from here? I guess I can't, maybe. Attack power. Okay. <laughs> uh, it raises my attack power. Uh, I believe right arm at two is where I have my gold stars or whatever that weapon is. It raises it from 660 to 665. But to the detriment of defense, I don't know. I, I guess it really doesn't matter either way, probably. Smithy Stone 6, okay. I like it. I like me Smithy Stone 6s. Still really want to find the the bell bearing thing that lets me buy smithing stone fives and sixes from the ladies. Don't tell me where it is, obviously, but uh, I want it. I want it. Here's, an, here's where our site is. Oh, an item. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, two items. All right, what is the story here? There's a story here. There is a story here. Um, it's one of the, oh, yeah, I mean, speaking of stories, what's the story with these guys? We see these guys, we've seen these guys quite a bit throughout the game with, I mean, I don't, is that glowing embers on them? Is that rot? What is that? It's kind of, Embry to me. He's got, you know, as you can see, a book sitting next to him, so he's been reading some stuff. Uh, I guess, I, I don't know, this just makes me think that this is his deathbed. I mean, duh, he died in it, but you know what I mean. Uh, so two items. Here is one called oh, Lionel's Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. So, oh, Lionel. 
Okay, well, this would be a good place where. So, uh, um, if I if I if I took notes right now, I guess I would like stop, check my notes. Hmm, do I have anything on Lionel? And then, um, you know, I would share with you guys what I found. So it would make. I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you know. It would make more work for me in that I would have to do a lot more editing, you know, because I it would not be my preference to just like be like, okay, hold on a second, guys, I'm going to look at this, and then just like have you wait, you know, while I looked, while I look, I would instead want to cut out the part where I look, kind of like how recently when I was playing and I would stop and go online to look things up, so that kind of thing. Um. Anyway, I don't know, man. I'm just talking a lot. So we, we, we picked up Lionel's stuff, okay? Let's take a look at it, because that's what we do here. That's what we do here. Lionel's helm. This guy seems familiar to me. What, ah. Round iron helm with a distinctive large brim worn by Lionel the Lionhearted. When this chivalrous, dauntless knight met Fia, who had been driven from her home, he declared himself to be her father. Interesting. You can see this will put me in heavy load. We're going to go and try it on just for looks. Just for fun. Uh, round iron armor with a banner extending from its back. Okay, so no new text there. Rounded iron gauntlets. No new text. So this is some heavy armor, man. Uh, and then uh, rounded iron greaves. And now we look like Lionel. I've seen this guy before. Maybe we summoned him? For help at some point in the game, I'm going to guess. It's probably what we did, right? We probably summoned this guy. You know, that's... It's kind of something about it that I like. I don't know. It's... It's cool looking, but also a little whimsical. I kind of like it. But yeah, you can see we're fat rolling now. So, I mean, it's not like I could run with this anyway. And then here we've got another item. Deathbed dress. Oh, so this is Fia's deathbed dress? That's a story I wish I understood more. Deathbed dress. Well, we're going to totally change our look now as we take a look at deathbed dress. Extremely thin and sheer white dress worn by the deathbed companion as she embraces the dead. Slowly replenishes the HP of nearby allies, <laughs> but not that of the wearer. Interesting. Huh. Huh. Boy, when would you wear this? The touch of the fabric is exceedingly soft, so as not to harm even the most withered corpse while still sharing her warmth. Well, isn't that lovely? Look at those sexy shoulders. There we go. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. I like it. It's a nice look. So this is where Lionel died. Let's touch the grace. Let's see what the, this place is named. This is Lower Capital Church. Oh, we could look right up our skirt. <laughs> our dress. Glad he's got a loincloth on. Alter garments. Can we alter this? I guess this is just the list of items we can alter here. Oh, we could alter Lionel's armor. Uh, but I can't really say I'm too into this. I don't know. All right, well, that's a good place to stop. We'll stop here, and uh, when we come back next time, we will uh, continue exploring this fantastic area. Oh, the Omen Killer's still there, and he's seen me. Well, let's reset that real quick. We can do exploring, continue exploring this area. I gotta tell you guys, I, I don't know, I, don't, I can't explain it, but... This area was fun. Why was this area so fun? I mean, it, there was not a lot here, maybe. I, I don't know. Some areas of this game I've mentioned before just seem too big. Uh, a lot of area to explore with a not, not a whole lot to see or discover. But for whatever reason down here, I just had a blast exploring this little town. I don't know. Maybe I just really felt like playing today. I don't know. I had fun. I hope you did too. If you did, won't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your comments. Really appreciate it. And I will see you again in the next episode.